Good morning, Anne, and thank you for agreeing to be the CBS Edina devotional interview for this week, John chapter 12. I, I'm grateful that you said yes. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. How long have you and Skip um, been in CBS? We have been in CBS for, I think, 12 years, and okay. we have been in leadership now for, I think this is our 10th year. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, I know a lot of people who've been in your groups and they all love it. So um, thank you. So, Anne, who- It's a privilege. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Um, especially this year when it seems so valuable. Right, right. And who introduced you to Messiah? Well, I have a three-part answer to that. So uh, the first part is when I was, I think, 13, and I was in eighth grade confirmation. Uh -huh. And a wonderful woman named Lynn Sabalka introduced me to Jesus. I was raised in the Catholic Church, and so there wasn't a lot of emphasis in that context on a relationship with Jesus. And so... She opened my eyes to that, and that's when I first accepted Christ. But part two, I would say, is that I really started to love him and um, be in relationship with him through a wonderful organization called Young Life in my uh -huh. high school years. And that was very instrumental in my faith journey. So I was at a camp in Colorado, actually two different camps. And um, I spent two summers on summer staff at Malibu, which is a camp up in British Columbia. Wow. And that's where I really engaged in faith. I mean, that's where I started studying the Bible. That's how I was loved by people and saw grace and experienced grace. Um, and so that's, I think, when I first really started living like a Christian. And then my third part is this season of being in CBS has had a powerful impact on my life in terms of studying the word mm. and knowing Jesus through the word. Mm. So that's mm. my encapsulated faith journey. Young life in high school. What high school? Edina West when there was an Edina West. Well, Edina West, yeah, which is now the main Edina High School, yeah. Right. So, yeah. so Young Life at Edina West, and then as a camp counselor, Young Life camp counselor, and now in CBS. Isn't that, yeah. isn't that great? I think a, a lot of us, um, although it may not, we may not um, have experienced part one and two, I think part three in CBS and the word, um, that's great. And I want to actually thank you for something. So a couple, three years ago now, I'll you made a part, I'll cut this part out of the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you don't get to do that. You made a passing comment about um, an app that's called Bible Memory and how helpful it had been in memorizing scripture. And, and that just hit me at the right time. So I downloaded it and I have really taken that to heart. And so not only studying God's word, but memorizing scripture and mm -hmm. having those words stored in my heart, I have found that profoundly comforting, um, convicting, uh, grounding. It just, it's been an instrumental part of my daily devotion time is working on memorizing scripture. So thank you for that, Andy. Thank you. You're welcome. That's the Bible memory app. And I don't make any money off of that, but I do use it. <laughs> I start... I, I too start my day every day with it. I like to say, um, well, I don't like to say, but I tend to wake up an atheist every morning. So I, I start out with a word and that Bible memory app helps me get back on track. So, mm -hmm. so thank you. This study of John, how has it affected your life so far this year? Well, as I thought about our time together this morning and reflecting on that study that we've been through so far and what's coming still, I have really been drawn to all of the I am statements mm -hmm. that we've studied. Mm -hmm. And when you think about each one and the sort of the different attributes of God through those declarations, 
you know, he is the bread of life. I am the bread of life, Jesus says. Mm -hmm. And so he, he nourishes us. He provides for us. I am the good shepherd. He guides us. He protects us. I am the door. He is our entry into relationship with our very righteous God. Um, we'll, we'll be studying in a few weeks. I am the vine. I think that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. Just to be yeah. tethered to him. Mm. So those are the statements. I think that's what I'll take most from the study this year is those I am statements and who Jesus is to us and in my own life. Mm. Well, and thank you. That's a, I hadn't, I hadn't been thinking about those like that and now mm. I will. So thanks. I, I was just working on the lesson and um, actually in day one and Mary anointing Jesus and wiping his feet with her hair. If Jesus came to your house for dinner, what would you, how would you kick off the conversation? Oh, Andy, wow. <laughs> That's a big question. See, I, I, didn't ask you, I didn't ask you ahead of time because I just want your gut right, answer. Right. Well, one of the things I've been, I've always pondered and in the study of John particularly is what it was for Jesus to leave glory, to leave heaven and at the right hand of the father and choose to come to earth as human, fully human, and to know what the path would be to the cross. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I'd want to ask him about that. How, how, in my own humanness, I can't fathom making that kind of a choice. Oh, yeah. to, to choose to leave something so perfect and so glorious. And then to know what suffering would come. Mm -hmm. That just blows me away. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And you know what comes to mind is that he would say, wow. because I love you. Yes. Yep. That's right. And thank you so much. Greet Skip for me. And uh, I will. have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you on Monday night. Thanks, Andy. Have a good weekend yourself. <laughs>